Hey everybody, today's book is The Museum. The story is by Susan Verde and the art is by Peter H. Reynolds. When I see a work of art, something happens in my heart. This book is about how we respond to our emotions about art and how it makes us feel. It also has um, this idea that when you feel something, you can also depict it with your art. So, The Museum by Susan Verde and art by Peter H. Reynolds. When I see a work of art, something happens in my heart. I cannot stifle my reaction. My body just goes into action. This one makes me want to pose and stand up on my tippy toes. Now I'm all twirly whirly, twinkly sparkly, super swirly. Ah, uh, here she's sketching the things she sees in the museum and then Here's the um, sculpture that she has, and she does the same kind of pose with her body. <laughs> Whew, exhausted. I take a breath. I can't wait to see what's next. Hmm, I think I'll analyze the who's and what's and where's and why's. I was thinking, the thinker. I'm starting to feel so sad and blue, heavy, lonely, through and through. And blue can make us feel sad or it can depict that we feel sad, but it can also be calming. So we use line work to make the same idea about emotion. I think I need something to eat. Those apples can be such a treat, would be such a treat. I'm skipping through a field of flowers. I could keep this up for hours. Fragrant, soft, and so delightful. Suddenly it's all so frightful. So we have the scream. I make silly faces at a guy. He did it first. I do not lie. This is a Picasso, so Picasso did do it first, and that's why he's so famous. I'm giddy from all these lines and squiggles. I collapse in fits of giggles. Wait, what is this I see? An empty canvas stares at me. What is she going to do with this empty canvas? Where is the color? What does it mean? It's the strangest art I've ever seen. Is this a joke? I shut my eyes and something happens to my surprise. I start to see things in my head. Yellow, blue, blue then green and red. Circles, lines, all kinds of shapes. Faces, flowers, and landscapes. I open my eyes and look once more at the canvas that I saw before. It's mine to fill the way I choose, a purple dot, a pair of shoes, zigzag lines, the deep blue sea, a portrait of my mom and me. No longer blank, it's my creation. I am feeling such elation. What a glorious time I've had. I've been scared, silly, mad, and glad. I'm energized from head to toe, even when it's time to go. The museum's closed for the night, but I know that it's all right. Its rhythm exists in all I see. The museum lives inside of me. And there she is running through Starry Night. That's one of my favorites too. You too could do Starry Night by just doing the cypress trees that come up like, kind of like flames, long, thin, swirly Vs. Do some swirls with spirals. From those swirls and spirals, do your little stars make the stars go out and then fill in the swirls and the spirals with color you can put your little crescent moon okay so this week and last week's assignment is to create a 3d piece of art and this is just an idea of all the different ways we can create art and be emotive about it some of the creations that i'm seeing are about emotion so i really appreciate that and um i hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.